So that was the only thing that was similar, but I didn't think anything of it because in my head I'm like, there's no way I'm pregnant. Like, there's no way. Hey, hey, it's Shay Shay. Welcome back to my channel. So today, we have a different video again. Um, this is gonna be how I found out that I was pregnant with baby number two. So, okay, so let's just go to the beginning. So, I have found out in April of 2019 that I was pregnant. Now, mind you, and I'm gonna make a video about this too, but I had completely no symptoms, like at all, like no regular symptoms that you would think that you would have, or that I even had the first time I was pregnant. Like I just experienced nothing this time. So this is all basically like, like really random. The only thing that I did experience now when I think about it, knowing that I'm pregnant now was the fact that I got really sick, like for a straight week, I don't know if that's normal or if that's just me, but I had got extremely sick um, for a week, like a bad cold and everything. Uh, the first time I was pregnant and then this time. So that was the only thing that was similar, but I didn't think anything of it because in my head I'm like, there's no way I'm pregnant, like there's no way. But anyways, okay, I'm talking too much. So basically, I went to the doctors, and I went for a completely different um, reasoning than pregnancy. So basically, I went in because I thought I was like, I, I thought maybe TMI, but I thought I had like a UTI or something. So, and like I had like cramps and stuff. So like, I went inside just to see like what was going on. But in my head, of course, I'm like, there's no way I'm pregnant. Like, there's no way. So, okay, so the doctor asked me when I first came in, which I guess this might be routine, but I don't know why she asked me this, but she was just like, oh, in your charts, I see like, you know, there was a pregnancy and I'm like, bar, like what? And then, but mind you, I was pregnant before. So I thought that they were just pulling up my charts from like two and a half years ago. So I was like, uh, no, there's no chance. Cause she asked me if there was a chance that I could be pregnant. So I'm like, no, there's no chance in that. Like, no, there's no chance. So then she was like, okay. And then I gave him a urine sample. Um, and I would just talk to the doctor and stuff. And it, she told me that basically they did a pregnancy test on me knowing that, okay, mind you, I did not request one. Cause I t even told her there's no way I could be pregnant. So... They still did it anyways for some reason because it was popping up on my chart like for some reason it was saying like I don't know what happened but it was telling them in the computer to check for pregnancy possible pregnancy so I'm like okay but she came back and told me that they tested my urine which again I didn't ask for because I thought no way was I gonna be pregnant but then um she came back and was like oh so your test is negative and I'm like oh yay like thank god but i already knew that but thanks for telling me anyways though so then after that I, okay, okay mind you okay i was at the doctors for like four hours four hours okay and i don't know why they kept me there that long but now i know why now but i didn't know why i was sitting in the room for four hours you're not supposed to be sitting that long at the doctors bro like no but anyways so she came back again and told me that I don't know how long like they waited which mind you too if you leave a pregnancy test that's used and even if it comes up like a negative result it could turn up positive like after like 10 minutes or 15 minutes something like that so they say disregard the results after a certain amount of minutes okay so my pregnancy test that they thought was negative turned positive so she came in the room like two hours later and was like oh like actually your test actually came up positive so let me um do another one so they did another test um the same one it was like this little cheap little white or pink little test thing it was about like this big 
And then she came back in, literally three minutes later, she came back in and was like, um, so I have news to tell you, I'm like, what? And then she was like, your pregnancy test turned positive. And she redid the test, mind you, she did it twice. So she redid the test and I was like, what? I was like, in shock, I was like. And I, oh. I was literally shocked. I'm like, no, there's no way, like, there's no way I could be pregnant. So then she was like, well, I did it twice and it came up positive. But I'm like, are you sure? Because literally, guys, I just told you that they messed up the first time, right? I literally just told you guys that they told me my test was negative when they first tested me. Then they came back three minutes later, did a retest, and it came up positive. Like, right away she said so I'm like okay but how'd you guys get it mixed up she really didn't have any answers like it was kind of disorganized and like it was a mess there but so they had me go in okay and now this is one facility so I went to the facility next door to them which is connected and I went to them to get my test done I did a yarn test it came up positive um, I did that like within a day or two, um, as soon as I can make an appointment. And then guys, again, I went to a whole different, this time an actual hospital. The other one I went to like a care facility or something like that, like urgent care. Oh, all this I got done at like urgent care. Then I went to another facility and then I went to the actual hospital for the third time. Now, mind you, this is three times and I went to go there because for some reason I told him like, yeah. I call them like, hey, like, the test is coming up positive and all that. Like, even home pregnancy tests is coming up positive. They told me at urgent care that, um, oh, this is me speaking to the hospital. So I was like, the test come up positive and stuff. But they're like, oh, well, it's good, but I need you to come in so we can test it at our facility. I'm like, well, I just got it confirmed two times. And then she was like, oh, I understand, but you need to confirm it with us. So I went in there. I went to an actual um, hospital, and they told me that, uh, yeah, you're pregnant. And they did a urine, and this time they did a blood test to test my HCG levels, which you can do that. And normally women do get blood tests. So they did two tests at their um, hospital office, and they basically told me I was pregnant. So I'm like, okay. And by the way, my HCG levels were really, really high. So that was like really a good thing. So yeah, and then I've been seeing the hospital ever since and I'm still seeing them. Um, I'm currently, they say I'm five months along. I'm 19 weeks now. So yeah. That's how I found out I was pregnant, and also if you watch um, my pregnancy test, my live pregnancy test video, which I will link down below, which you guys should definitely check out, um, that was when I didn't know what was really going on, like, because obviously I told you guys, they said I wasn't pregnant, then they said I was, and then I confirmed it to go after that three more times, so yeah, like, that's how I found out I was pregnant. Um, they told me I wasn't, then I was, and then I kept being pregnant, and I still am pregnant. Thank God. All in all, this second pregnancy had just took me by, obviously, for so many reasons, uh, like, complete surprise. Like, I didn't expect to be pregnant. I wasn't trying. I wasn't trying to conceive. I wasn't even really that ready, to be honest with you, but I prayed about it. And it was meant to be, and the Lord willed it to be so. So I'm so thankful, guys, for my second baby. And I still can't believe it. I'm in shock. Like, I'm almost halfway done, and I'm still in shock. I'm still in shock, guys. Like, I don't really know what to say. Like, but just thank God and prepare for this baby, you know? I have to give birth again. I was traumatized the first time, and now... Two and a half years later, I'm having my second baby. Like, wow. Like, when you plan stuff, God really does laugh because, 
honey, I was not expecting to be pregnant again so soon. You know, after some really, really devastating life events happened to me that I may or may not talk about on my channel. I just don't know if I'm ready yet. But, and that's also why I haven't been on YouTube as well because of personal life reasons. Um, but, yeah, this has been definitely a surprise. Um, I've been feeling and going through many things. So I will definitely keep you guys updated on this pregnancy journey. And I really hope that you guys like to see this type of content because... You know, this is my life. I like to make videos about my life and really helpful videos and fun videos and all of that fragrance and everything. That is my life though, so. But I hope you guys are happy for me. Thank you so much for watching this video and sticking with me and rocking with me for so long. I'm getting out of breath. Thank you guys for, you know, rocking with me. I'm really trying to hit again. Let me just say, I'm trying to hit again. Please get me to 1K subscribers. I really, really need this and want this so bad. You know, you guys know I've been doing this since 2011, which if you guys know, that's how long I've been on YouTube. You guys know who's been rocking with me that I've been on this thing for a long time. I'm trying to reach that 1K subscribers to meet their requirements, you know, before 2019 ends. So I pray and hope that you guys will get me there. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I mess with you guys heavy. Um, if you guys want to see any more pregnancy videos, please leave comments down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I have, again, more videos coming to you guys. More fragrance, more pregnancy, more this, more that. Like, I got so much coming. But anyways, just thanks for watching. The quote of today is, and it's from the Bible, trust in the Lord. I'm telling you, he got your back always, y'all. But... Trust in the Lord, for real. All right, bye.